I thank God bago po nangyari ng puto po yung ating bukan. I, for one week ata na yun, we are fasting and prayer. Sino po dito yung galing sa week of fire? Amen. Amen. Na ready yung heart natin, na ready yung mga puso natin. And I do believe that the enemy was the table, makita nyo pala masyadong nasakta na makay or something because the Lord protected us. Amen? Amen? So, the prophecy, hindi ko po ito napitawan last week, pero I will continue it next week because I lost my lessons. But, binigyan po ako ng word ng devotion during that time. And, sino po dito patuloy na nananampalataya sa word of God in spite of so many things that happens to your life? Amen? Alam niyo po ang first four months. Say first four months. Sabi nga po itong taon na to is the greatest show on earth. Say it! The greatest show on earth. The greatest show on earth. We will enter into a new era. We will enter into a timeline. We will enter into a time where God's gonna move in a new and different way. Kakaiba ang taon ito. 1900 starts on 1901 until 1999. Isang dekada, isang 100 years. Now we're entering into a new time. 2020. Say 2020. 2020. If God will not die, it will, it will, um, mga hundred years again, makikilala ang twenty hundred sa ibang kaparaanan. Mababago ang pananamit, mababago ang mga ang mga bagay-bagay sa twenty twenty. Ito pong taon na to, ang pinakasabi na po, you, you will find it, you will find out why that this is the greatest show on earth because God's gonna move in a powerful way. Amen? God is a big God. Amen? Mas malaki pa siya sa vulkan. Kaya yeah. iniisip ko, every month is on the volcano. Everything na ginagawa, vulkan, vulkan, nakakasakuan na rin ano. So that's why I don't dwell on that. I dwell on the goodness of God. Amen? I dwell on the love of God in my life. Meron pong Diyos na buhay. Amen? Yeah. Bakit ang tao may nangyayaring masama? Sinisisi ang Diyos. Namatay ang sinisisi ng Diyos. Nasira ang sisi Jesus. Lord, we just love you, God. We 
love for you, Lord. You are a big God. Say, Lord, you are a big God. A mighty God. A loving God. A God, Lord Jesus, that is alive. A God, Lord, that whom we can trust. A God that calls us. Not only you are a God, but you become so close to us. You are a Savior, a best friend, a Father. So 
They worship even the, the blessings that God has given them. They worship their houses. They worship everything they nakuha nila sa Lord. They forgot to worship at unahin ang Diyos. Amen? Kaliwat kanan. Ayon din sa akin po kasi yung mga tao dito hindi ka sa kakasukan. Here in the Philippines, alam niyo po ba, ang tawag daw po sa atin is the capital of the world, the gossiping capital of the world. Alam niyo ba sa Puerto Rico, pag sa ang bahay, dahil araw-araw ng lilindol, pataas ng pataas, wasak na yung mga bahay, wasak na yung mga, pero hindi natin ang babalita. You know, and tayo dito, grabe yung balita. Hindi ba nag-aano sinasabi na yung balita na maraming namatay? Wala na wag namatay pa. I mean, the gossip, the unrighteousness. Dito daw ginagawa sa Pilipinas ang mga, what do you call this, X-rated, whatever, na mga babae, talaki, dito ginagawa. And I heard it's also in Kabite. Dito daw marami sa Kabite na mga prostitute na pinalalapas sa buong mga mundo. Sa buong mundo, whatever. I mean, dyan sa Patangas, makikita mo iba yung mga klaseng Nandiyan daw yung mundo ko saan sinasamba nila si Satan. Everything, all of those wickedness comes from the new space. That's why if there's a grace, there's a judgment. Amen? All the unrighteousness. They come upon me in the day of my calamity. Hatred, anger, away dito, negative words that has been spoken from the politics to the people, churches divided, families divided. And it will all come as a calamity. Right? But, who will God raise up in four to five months in the prophecy of the globe, around the world? You will see a lot of shakings, earthquakes, left and right. Within five to six months, five months, you will see a lot of negative news all over the world in the Sabi Something like the greatest show on earth. Totoo po yan na ang Galapins is the windows to the world. Kaya nga tayo ngayon ang inuna sa buong mundo. But in spite of God, God is a supernatural. Amen? After six months, you will see a manifestation Kung wala masisira, wala marirestore. Right? The only thing that we can declare restoration pag may nasira. Right? Diba? I said to you nung last week, there will come a restoration. May sepa, kagamitin tayo ng Diyos. Vengeance is mine, said the Lord. Lahat ng nawala sa'yo, I've been telling you, lahat ng nasira sa'yo, ipapalit ng Diyos. Amen? Kaya yan, kung gumawa na gumawa ang kaaway, the last love will be the love of God. Amen? He will restore everything that has been stolen. There will be a declaration and decree that the anointing of God will increase. Amen? Amen ba? And you will say, hindi ko ba nakikita ko na ka ng promises? When we open, I'll do it next week. Amen, ma? Amen. So we will focus on the Lord right now. We will focus on His goodness. At ang sabi niya dito, for Jehovah, He brought me forth on verse 19. 
Jerusalem into a large place. He delivered me. Deliverance is God. Amen? Amen. Kaya nga tayo ngayon, magkakaroon tayo ng ginagawa natin mga donations and everything. Meron na po ng dating nandyan, isang bar na. So, all para po, hindi lang po tayo magbibigay ng kung ano-ano mga needs nila physically, but we will give them the spiritual needs. Amen? Amen? We will give them encouragement. I am sending my team. I am seeing the anointing upon their life. They're preaching the word of the Lord. Amen? Amen. So, ang dami po, this is the year na pinaka-busiest year in the kingdom of God. Ewan ko bakit nakaka-occupy. We will start going around to preach the gospel that Jesus is the one who saved you in the Lord. Amen? Amen. So, we'll give them only deal time on your life. Ito po, ha? Yung andan ito, yung noodles para sa ito. Sabi nga po na iba, ayaw na po namin ang noodles at sardinas, masisira na po kidney namin. So we're giving everything that you get. Ito na po yung time na we will show the goodness of God. Kaya na ano eh, first po, magdala po kayo ng para sa mga sabi nga, Lord, babaguhin mo ang Diyos. Amen? Yung church, hindi na siya magiging mga sarili. Because, you know, that's the isa yan. Ano po ba? Ganito lang yan eh. Bago sumamog yung pulgan, physical yan. Nag-uumpisa po na na umakyat at umakyat yung mga unrighteousness, yung kasamaan, yung mga kasinamalingan, yung mga negative things, yung mga lahat ng pangit, lahat ng basura sa buhay, umakyat yan parang pulgan. Binubuo, binubuo. All the negative things, all the negative words, all the things na alam mo walang nakakakita, but God sees it. Amen? Amen? And it grieves the heart of God. It angers the heart of God. It can choose the heart of God. That's why lahat po ito na puro, umulo na niya per thing. Eh parang ulan din yan na umakyat na doon sa clouds. Lahat ang pasabahan, lahat ang negative words, lahat even and come a time. It's not, it's not hindi po karakter ng Diyos ang manira. But because of the unrighteousness of all these things, sumabog na tuloy. But in spite of that, sabi ng Lord, this year, this revival that will take place is a revival of holiness. Na wala na yung holiness sa church. It's easy to condemn one another. It's easy to speak. Sabi ng mga nas kanina, gasig, chismis, chismis. It's easy to do that. No more. This coming revival, there's going to be a revival of holiness. God will take place. God will come down to start receiving righteousness. Amen? Sabi nga po dito, Jehovah, verse 20. He will deliver you, verse 19, because He delighted in you. God is trying to choose people that namimitag, naghahanap na po ang Diyos. Amen? Naghahanap na ang Diyos. Sabi dito, He will reward me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands. Taas mo kamay mo. According to the cleanness of my hand, for I have kept the ways of God. Jehovah. Pinili mo ba na sundin siya sa gitna ng pang? Salimbawa may mga friends ka, may mga kasama ka sa trabaho. Lahat sila tumakuha ng mali, lahat sila nagbukuraan, lahat sila nagbibisyuan. Pinili mo ba sa loob ng 50 katao, ikaw yung kaisa-isa lang na may righteousness? Did you become alive to your word? Kaya ba pagka nasa labas, pagka nandun sa trabaho mo na sa sa, sa devotion nyo, nasa skwelahan nyo, kilala pa kayo bilang taong tumakayo sa matuwid? Pinagtatawanan ba kayo? Ayan na lang, okay, pray na naman yan. Ayan na lang, babasa ng bayo. Pinagtatawanan ba kayo? O nagbabagong anyo kayo? When you get out there, you become someone that 
Jesus in our life. So sabi dito ng Lord, according to the cleanness of my hands, I will put away his touches from me. I will also perfect with him. And I will keep myself from my iniquity. If you want judgment not to touch your house, but the grace of God. Naalala niyo nung sa panahon ni Moses. Na lahat ng mga tao sa labas, ang mga matay yung anak nila, may mga palaka, may mga may mga judgment, right? Pero yung tahanan kung saan ang isang ama, sabi na yung nagdidiklara ng kabutihan ng Diyos. Ang isang ama, tinatawag ang mga anak niya. At bawat isang pinagpipray at hawak-hawak. May sino mga ito ang family dito? Mga tatay. Sa panahon ba na magbunan, tinawag yung pamilya ng tanalangin? Every day of your life. O kung wala kang magulang, ikaw tumatay yung magulang, tinawag mo pa ang mga kapit mo. Sabi dito, For I have kept the ways of God. Dahil itong tao na to, parang show down siya, greatest show on earth. Makikilala mo rito kung sino ang righteous. God will separate the goats from the sheep. Ay kung tinatanong. Kambing ka ba? O tuka? Ang kambing laging nanonuwa. Alaban. Aga. Kumuha. Makasarili. Or are you a sheep? A sheep is quiet. No sound to pray. No sound to pray. To, to be patient. No, makikita mo yung ugali ng tuka sa fruit of the Holy Spirit na doon sa tupa. Makikita mo yung isa. Kaya mga Kristiyano, dalawa, tupa o ano kaya ano? Dumating ang Diyos dito. All the goats on the left. All the sheep on the right. Sino pumunta sa right? Sheep sila. Sino dito yung nasa left? Go. Anong nuwa? Nangaway. Nagchichismis. Nanihira. Ang tawag niya kambing. Right? Kambing na lang ito pa. Pero ito pa yun. Mamahal, papasensya. Yun ang nagpipray. Yun ang... They follow the ways of God. Right? So, if you want your house to be protected, sabi ng Lord dito, For all those who ordinances were before me, I will not, I, and I put none of his touches from me. I was also perfect with him. I, and I kept myself from my iniquity. Therefore, God recompense me according to my righteousness. Ikaganti ka ng Diyos. Pagpapalain ka ng Diyos. O protektahan ka ng Lord. Ano ka? The Lord will bless you so much. Amen? In the midst of all the problems, ikaw yung bless. One time sa akin, ang dami-dami humihingi na ganyan ko sa akin, dada-dada. Anong gusto mo ikaw humihingi o ikaw ang hinihingi na? Ang tupa, hinihingi na. Ang kambing, nanghihingi. Right? Kasi bless ang tupa, ang kambing. Right? Diba nahahalo siya sa tupa, kakainin yung mga damo. Tapos itutulak niya yung mga na siyang pakila. So sabi ng Lord, I will recompense. Ipagalitin kita, ibibigay ko mga nawala sa iyo if you will stand righteous in my side. Pag namuhay ka na matuwid sa harapan mo, according to the cleanness of my hands in His eyes. Is your hands? Is your hands clean? When I come to worship the Lord this morning, I raise my hands and say, Lord, if there's anything that you can see in my hands that is not right with you, cleanse my hands. Cleanse my heart. Because whatever is in my heart, whatever is in my mind, that will be over my hands. Amen? 
kung ano ang nasilaman ng puso ko ng isip ko ng dami sa mga mga Kaya kung marumi ang isip ko ang puso mo, marumi rin ang mga mga Kaya sabi niya, what is in your hands? According to the cleanness, mahalagang mahalaga, dito sa 2020, nalalaka tayo malinis ang ating mga mga. Amen? Amen? With the merciful thou will show thyself merciful. Yung mahabagin. Sino nito yung madaling mahabag? Amen. Ang tunay daw na hahabag at naaawa ka nito. Pagka naaawa ka lang, pero wala talagang tunay na kahabagan na ito, ay kawawa nyo siya. Kawawa. Kawawa. Tapos nyo lang kasama. You don't do anything. But those who are merciful say, ay kawawa nyo not just the core of your heart, and you do something. Amen? Amen. Pwede ba lahat ng mga damit mo sa bahay nyo na hindi nyo naman ang display nyo lang dyan, ipiligay nyo na. We are also receiving donations of clothing. Huwag naman yung butas-butas, sira-sira, yung pinakamarumi, yung pinakamarumi, yung pinagita ganda na kami. Right? Anything. Lord, this is not the time to be merciful. Amen? Lahat ang... Sabi nung nakita ko yung mga bahay, kasi I used to preach there in Batangas, kaya natin yung may sakto. Meron po tayong mga satellite light group sa Batangas. And the place where I went to, kung saan hundreds of people got saved when I went there, mayroon po yung even ng lugar na pinag-hilda namin, yung mass was up na. They call it mass, no mass love. Hindi na po pwede balikan ng bahay dahil yung tawag dito, yung segmento, yung, yung lupa, yung hangin, kalahati na ng bahay. Ganyan na. Ano kung babalikan mo matigas na naging lupa at sa loob ng bahay? Bitak-bitak na. We will show mercy to them. Amen? Hindi lang kung natin sila bibigyan. Ito, 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 dami ko, no. We will pray for them, conduct the deliverance, we will show them that the God is the God. Amen? 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 Yun ang kaibahan. We will pray before we go. We will praise the word of God. We will introduce them that Jesus is the God of recompense. Jesus is the God of restoration. Amen? Amen? And we will send a team Sino ang gusto sumama? Amen. Amen. We are training pastors in this church to be sent out this year. Well with them. Amen. Amen. Where are you? On verse... But that will 
send afflicted people. So, ang Diyos maglilitas. We will give them this message. Ililitas kayo ng Diyos. God will lighten my darkness for by the I run upon the truth. And by my God do I live over a wall. Uh, the word of God is right. So, sinusukungan ko dito ngayon na ang salita ng Diyos ay makapangyarihan. For those who are sick people, next week I want you to bring people that are sick and we will pray for sick people. Amen? I want you, bawat isa sa inyong pagdala ng may sakit, dahil mananalangin tayo sa linggo. We are on our, how many days? 10-day fast. Doon po na sa mga nagpapastig. Ikasampung araw na po natin ngayon na nagpapastig. Amen? And the fruit of God is God will heal people. Amen? Amen? He is a shield unto all them that take refuge in Him. For He is a rock besides our God. The God that girded me with strength. God will strengthen you. Say strength. Strength. Pag napanghinahan kayo ng loob, sabi nga po, pagka halimbawa nagkaroon ng sakuna or ng sulo, pag napanghinahan ka ng loob, kahit bolt ay hindi mo nga yung bibi. Right? Nakita mo ito sa kanina? Wala na silang nabibit na gamit kahit ano dahil nanghina yung loob nila sa pato. That's why we will give them something. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord. He makes my feet like hands feet and set me upon my high places. So your feet, kailangan naka-anglay pa ako. Hindi mo pa ako doon sa angla. Matibay. Kahit anong gawin dyan, pag ang paa mo, naka-angkla mo sa matibay na ito, hindi ka matitinan. Why? Hindi ka matitinan sa anumang nakikita mo ngayon. Amen? Hindi ka matitiscare sa anumang nakikita mo yung ngayon. Because God is a God who are in Kevich. Amen? He makes my feet like and seated me upon high places. He teach my hands to war. Okay. For those of you, you will be trained how to war. Say war. War. Pantay aatake, pantay lalaman. We're 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 going one hour. What is that, Master Alpha? Our um retreat, encounter retreat. Tuloy po ang ating encounter retreat sa mga schedules. Amen. Amen. Mas una po ata ng palista ang Manila. Meron na po kami 60 slots from Manila. We only have 100 slots to come. Ang open na lang ay kukunti na lang. Right? So first come, first set po ito. Yung party natin ang bang party ka? Welcome party. Then the retreat. We're gonna go to Lucena. We're gonna go to Matangas. We're gonna go to the city. It will be first week of February. So everything is moving so fast. Ito na po yung panahon. Wala na po tayong panahon para umuko dyan. Everybody should be serving the Lord. Amen? I will pursue my enemies and overtake them. Neither will turn again. See, dito, I will pursue my enemies. This year, hindi tayo magre-retreat, hindi tayo matatakot, hindi tayo magtatamo, tayo ang hulusong sa ating mga kaaway. Amen?
Jesus eh. Akala ka natin, di natin nakikita. But they're assigned in our family. They're assigned in our city. They're assigned in our church. But we will command them, Go in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. Ito ruha ko kayo, kung paano masakit ang puta ng away sa buhay nyo, sa isip nyo, sa pamilya nyo, in our city. Amen? Amen. Neither will I turn again till they are consumed. Hindi na titigil ang dating di mo mo sa kamuong niya sa isip mo, sa buhay mo. Lahat ng klaseng sakit galing sa demonyo. Amen? Amen. Lahat ng klaseng sakit, ano ba ba, infirmity, sakit na kapalit-balit galing sa demonyo. Amen? Amen? And we will find it. Yung ating puso, yung ating mga retreat encounters, makikita nyo yun. Hindi na lang siya ordinary ano. They will see the manifestation of the power of God over their lives. People will be healed. Amen? Amen. They shall be under our feet. Takilagay na ako sa paanin ng kawal. Ang lahat ng kapot, ang lahat ng sumalo, ang lahat ng balit, ang lahat ng mga sakit, ang lahat ng lahat ng lahat ng kasit, lahat ng kasit, lahat ng kasit, lahat ng kasit, puwede na may lang may. In the name of Jesus, lahat ng kasit, hindi na
You was influenced by the devil. Don't say that yourself. He told Jesus, right hand of, 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 of the pastor, right hand of the master.
so you will be saved here. Jesus died and carried all those pain on his body on his back. So God, alam ko niya sa araw. Nasabi ko yung anong sakit. Parang yan ang mga ang sakit dito. And it reminded me, the Lord reminded me, si kung ka lang sa mga kapit. Hindi mo alam kung ka lang sa mga kapit. Kung buha ka ng damit, si kung ka lang, hindi mo alam kung ka lang sa kapit ang kilis ko para sa mga kapit. And I was getting my clothes in a room. Right? Ang laki ng hinirap ni Jesus. It's time for the church to mature, to grow. Kayo na yun. Mature ka na ba? Puri ka mula matur ka. Hindi ka pa mature. Ang tao mature ka na strong in the East. Right? Pastora na mga mature, mature na. Dahil ang palabas sa sila. Tapos ang palabas sa sila. Right? Totoo na ito. Power to power. Amen? That was delivered me from the strivings of the people that was made. Sabi ito, I think that was made the heads of the nations. God will put. Alam mo ba sa bahay mo? Where's again the father of the house? Where the priest of the house? may ibig sabihin ng priest of the house. Kung ka sa pintuan, hindi mo pinapayagan na ang mga spirito ang kapasok sa tahan. Naamoy mo yan. Naamoy mo pang bigilan mo ka na buha ng anak mo. Why? Because you are the guardian, the head of your family. Ano yan po ang pinapatay mo ng hindi? You follow the music, find the spirit. Alam mo, I like to see men of God. I mean, mga husband, mga men, father, na umiikot sa bahay nila, maagaw pa. Kaya bahay mo, may bahay nila. Alam mo, maliit pa siya wala. Iikot kayo doon. And just declare, in the name of Jesus, this house is a house of blessing. I will not allow the enemy to come to this house. And Lord, in the name of Jesus, you have to declare sa pangalan ni Jesus, ang bahay nito yung magpukulong ng pagpapala. Lahat ng klaseng mga espiritu ng kahirapan, nandaya sa tahanan nito. Amen? Amen? Ang pansan ako ni ang wife, tiga amen lang yun. Say, amen! Sasagot yung asawa, amen! But the husband, I'm going to raise up husbands, fathers, head of the house, the Lord is calling you. The Lord is calling you. Sabi nga, paano mo mapapastor ang simbahan kung ikaw mismo sa loob ng tangan ng minuhay ang pastor ng kaming mga. Right? Time for you, wives. Ito na yung panahon. To 2020 is a year where all the wives will be strong in the world. Wives, raise your hands. Mga nanay. Pastor, hindi ako pastor, no? You are the pastor also of your life. The pastor cares. Right? Stop knocking, stop talking. Start to put your faith into action. Amen? Sa pangalan ng Jesus, pakakaya ko ang tahanan nito. Ang mga anak ko ay pagpapalay. Ang mga anak ko. I will release the love of God in my family. Ang pamilya ay kayamanan natin. Sino dito ang may kayamanan? May pera. Saan mo nilalagay ang pera? Tinasabog mo lang. Di ba tinatabi mo? Tiniingan mo. Dahil ang pera ay pagkapala. Your family is also a treasure. I remember na ang kanya na Sasama 
Thank you. 
has actually been persecuted for this faith. I just don't feel like I can measure up to that. You have David and Danielle and Papa Fiji that moved their whole family to Iraq to preach the gospel. But I'm willing. I want to be faithful. I want to be a faithful friend to Jesus. And that should be all of our hearts cry to be faithful to the end. So I just want to open up real quick in prayer. Lord, I just thank you. David, if you could help me out, bud. Lord, I just thank you. I thank you, God, for this time together. I thank you, Jesus, that we get to gather today in your name, Jesus. Our heart's goal, Lord, is to be faithful friends to you, Jesus. Faithful to the end, 314. I'll just read it to you if you're not there. It says, for if we are faithful to the end, trusting God, just as firmly as when we first believed, we will share in all that belongs to Christ. See, as faithful at the end is when we first believed. How many of you want to go to heaven? God, you're well served. I'm a faithful servant. How many? I want to hear that so badly. It's not how you begin, it's how you finish, okay? It's not how you begin, it's how you finish this race. That's why I love Reinhard Bunky so much. I know when he got to heaven, that's what the Lord said. Well done, my good and faithful servant. He was faithful to the end and his love was faithful for that. It's a beautiful thing. It's something we should all hope to achieve one day in Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. So I've had friends. How many of you have friends that haven't been faithful friends, right? Okay. So, obviously, my family's in ministry. Love him or hate him. Benny Hinn is my dad. I happen to love him. I love him very much. I do know I'm so proud that he's my daddy. But growing up in a family like that was very costly. And so, years ago, my parents, they restored now, but they went through a divorce. It was a very public, shameful divorce. It was very embarrassing. It was just a, it was just a really rough time for my family. Thank God they've been restored. Thank you. Say thank God. Thank you, Jesus. He restores all things. And I remember we had so many friends back in those days when we were packing out stadiums and crusades. We just had so many friends. And when when that story hit the news, I remember people just stopped calling us. We didn't hear from anybody anymore. And I remember Michael, we had some really good friends that were just around us just months prior. And Michael, they were our friends. He would call them and call them and say, babe, you're not picking up my calls. I said, babe, they don't want to be our friends anymore. They don't want to be our friend. Don't you see that? And he's more trusting than I was. And he said, oh, no, babe, a friend would never do that. I go, babe, we're costly to them now. Don't you understand? So finally there was one friend that finally said the truth. Michael called him and said, hey, bro, I'd like to see you. I'd like to get together. Let's do something together. And he goes, bro, don't you know it's costly to be your friend right now? We don't want to be your friend. It's costly. You're related to Benny. We don't want to touch that right now. And I remember the way that made me feel inside. I remember, I remember that feeling. Michael remembers that feeling. I thought, we didn't even do anything. You just don't want to be our friend because of what people will think about you. We didn't even wrong you. It'd be one thing if we did something wrong. It'd be one thing if we hurt somebody. We're like, you're just afraid of what people think. But how many times do we do that to Jesus all the time? We're just people who cares about me and Michael. But how many times do we get ashamed of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and say, it's too costly, Jesus, to talk about you right now. It's too costly to do this. What will they think about me if I talk about you? What will they think about me if I'm Michael, you've got a great message. You have a lot to say. 
You're going somewhere, but you got to leave the Holy Spirit out of it because it's going to offend some people. And we looked at each other and said, oh no, that's who we are. That's what we burn for. We will never deny the power of the Holy Spirit. Never. Never. Because he's not just a feeling, he's a person. And I never want to do to Jesus what people did to me. It hurt. It hurt. And I love and I forgive, but it hurt. Of course it did. And some of those same people now, now they call our phones. And my first thought is, you weren't there when I was costly. Why do you want to be my friend now? And it's the same with the Lord. Do you want to be his friend just when everything works out for you? Do you want to be his friend when it's popular? Do you want to say you're Jesus people when everybody's saying it like it's the new trendy thing? Or do you want to do it that's going to cost you everything? When do you want to do it? That's what all matters. It costs you everything. If you are Jesus people, you have It's, 
It's costly at times, but it's so worth it. And I knew the price. I knew there was a price to follow him. And I knew I couldn't say, Jesus, I want to give you my everything and leave him one day. I didn't ever want to do that. But with the Holy Spirit, you can do it. I said, with the Holy Spirit, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it because he'll renew your strength. He'll renew your strength and he'll keep you strong. At times when you feel weak and you feel like the world is falling apart, he will keep you strong. He'll hold you up. He is steadfast. He is steadfast. You have to be unshakable, unmoving. You have to know where you're going. You have to stay focused and you have to look into the light. Jesus is the light. He illuminates everything. As long as you're following him and walking after him, you stay in the light. No darkness will have any grip on you ever again. You will never have to worry about addiction. You won't ever have to worry with any of that stuff. I'm addicted to pornography. I'm addicted to drugs. I'm addicted to this. You don't even have to worry about any of that stuff. You stay in the light. The moment that stuff has a grip on you is when you walk away from the light. When you walk away from the light, then sin comes in and all these things come in your life. But if you stay focused on him, if you follow Follow me. He didn't give this long illustration. Just follow me because he is light. Do you understand what I'm saying? He illuminates light. Jesus is the light of the world. So you follow him and darkness has no grip on you anymore. Has no grip on you anymore. You're free. You're free from all those things that you thought you'd never be free of. I dealt with fear since I was a little kid. My sisters are right there. They'll tell you I had to sleep with my parents. I had to sleep with my little baby sisters. I'm the oldest I used to sleep in their bed because I was so afraid of everything. I was so afraid to sleep, nightmares, all those things. It was something that I dealt with since I was uh, the earliest stage I can remember, always being afraid. And I'm not afraid anymore. I'm not afraid anymore. I don't deal with that stuff anymore. But again, it's because I found Jesus. I know that the moment I walk away from Him, I'll be bound again. Because I, I am flawed. We all are. The minute you start thinking, I don't need him, I don't need him, that will never happen to me. I'll never do that. I can't believe that person did that. I'll never do that. You put a mark on your back, and the devil knows they think they have their own ability to walk away from that stuff. No, it's Jesus that keeps you free from that stuff. You can't do it on your best day. You cannot do it on your best day. It's only Jesus that keeps you free. So, Lord, we thank you. We worship you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, I just thank you, God, that you will overwhelm us, Lord, with first love again for Jesus. Holy Spirit, let us burn with first love for Jesus, God. Lord, we have so far to come. We have so far to come, Jesus, but we want to be faithful friends to you, Jesus. We want to be faithful to the end, Jesus. Faithful to the end, Lord, no matter the cost, Jesus. No matter the price we pay, God. No matter what, Jesus, we just want to be faithful. Holy Spirit, will you help us? Will you help us be faithful? Will you help us never leave, Jesus? Will you help us never leave? Even when it's costly, even when we get kicked on, even when we get made fun of, even when we... Jesus. So I thank you, Jesus. If that's you and you say, Jess, I want to burn again with first love. I want to be like that. I want to be a faithful friend to Jesus. I want to fall in love with him all over again. I invite you to come down to the altar and lay down everything. Give him your everything he deserves and if anybody deserves that. Jesus, I want to Waiting for the testimony. That's not the one. But anyway, so nandina yung encouragement niya to sa katapatan. Amen? That you will be faithful to the end. I will tell you her testimony. Um, mula pa daw sa pagkabata, meron na siyang tako. Although siya ang panganay, lagi siyang nakakilag, nakalatutulog dun sa kwarto ng mga kapatid niya. Meron pa din itong lumaki na may tako. Siya yun. At nung nagkaroon ng divorce yung mga tulang niya, 
Iniwanan siya ng lahat ng mga tao sa pag-ibig. Dating mga nakakakilala sa kanila, disconnected with them. Ang nangyari, nagkaroon siya ng mental breakdown. And maganda na yung ending niya, siguro nang gusto ko. Pero yung first niya, he hated God. Yung testimony niya. He hated his father. He hated being a daughter of a pastor. He hated the church. He hated everything. Sila yung mga kawak ng Jesus eh. 2018, Jesus with his bed, Jesus image. Hanggang sa nagkaroon siya ng problema, dinala siya sa ospital. Dahil nagkaroon siya ng mga mga sakit. Yung palang sakit niya hindi totoo. It's only the mind because of depression. She says when she started, dinala siya sa... What do you call this? Yung kat yung simbahan na si Kat na siya. Sa Bethel, inalagaan siya doon. At sabi niya, isa lang pala ang makakatanggal ng focus ko sa problema. Focus ko sa sarili ko. Focus ko ang mga kaibiyan na nagrating. Is to go back to Jesus. To live my life. Maganda na yung ending niya eh yun ang kuwa yung testimony niya sa kanina. She almost destroyed the ministry of her own father, the ministry of her own husband, because of anger inside. Kahihiya at kapit ay hindi niya kinaya sa nangyari sa buhay niya. Walang makatulong sa kanya kahit ano except when he went to his room and said, Jesus, if you are really real, I surrender. Ito mahal na ba? Even right now,
I'm not talking about self-work, I'm not talking about leadership, I'm not talking about anything. You know what I hear right now? I can only do great things in your life if I am in the center.
inside you right now. There's a strong hand of touch of God upon your life. Someone here in the Lord is touching your life so strong, even right in the heart of God.
Jesus good to you this 